Hey Jeep Air Gunner Channel, Cherokee Steve. Um, back with a small mod that I did today. Um, doesn't really have anything to do with, well I guess it does have something to do with reinforcing a certain aspect of the gun. But I was just dry fitting uh, the barrel with the two items that go on each end of it the barrel band on the exit side of the barrel and the breech with the loading side of the barrel and uh, what I've noticed what a lot of other people have covered especially if you're going to uh, as I am in this particular project utilizing and keeping the uh, plastic breech um, there's a very loose fit between uh, the barrel and the hole that the one end of the barrel goes in the, to the breech and there's just as much uh, slop uh, between the opposite end of the barrel and the barrel band itself. So uh, what I came up with to deal with that is Here on both sides of the breech, forward of the porthole, there's two screws, grub screws uh, or set screws, whatever you want to call them. Um, I have drilled and tapped two holes for a 632 thread. Now, let's see, my 632 tapped container says to use a number 36 drill bit, which I happen to have. So if you're going to be going that route, you do need a number 36. The thing about this particular uh, the plastic or polymer, or whatever you want to call it, that the breech is made out of, the wall at the barrel opening end is thick enough to get enough usable threads where this does grab you know the with the set screws backed out as they are right now loading the barrel with the port side It goes in just fine. I'm looking at the bottom and making sure that the barrel port lines up with the port in the breech. But after everything is put down together, I'm going to just snug up each one of these set screws up on both sides of the barrel. And that, I've already done it and I've tested it and it does provide a really firm grip on this end of the barrel. Now on the opposite end of the barrel with the barrel band I tried doing the same thing as far as drilling that's for the uh, pin from the pump arm but up here trying to I drilled a hole and on the opposite side did the same thing and tried tapping with a 632. Now when I went to tighten down the set screws through the barrel band, uh, the wall thickness at this end is thinner. One of the set screws ended up stripping out the threads. What I ended up doing, just to <laughs> appearance wise, you know, I, I didn't think it looked bad, you know, almost looks like uh, fake vent holes or something like that. But uh, in this recessed areas, because there's two on each side, on either side of the barrel band, I just went ahead and drilled another hole. 
so that it kind of looked like that the holes were supposed to be there. They're not going to serve any usable function for tightening the barrel, though. And, uh, you know, what I'm going to go try, uh, I will try uh, Big J um, on his website, um, Big J's Outdoors and Air Guns. Uh, you know, he said he wrapped tape around the barrel band uh, end of the barrel, and that snugged that up uh, fairly well since he was utilizing, um, I believe it was his 1377 project, uh, uh, using the stock barrel band and noticing the looseness in it, but that tape took care of that. He's not the only one. I've seen other videos where people did the exact same thing. Uh, people that were retaining their stock barrel band. Um, so that's the route I will go. I've got it. I've got the problem solved with the 632 set screws. Again, I got a nice set screw assortment um, kit. This is from Harbor Freight. Um, goes uh, the smallest set screws are for 440. It's got 632. Uh, 632, 10, 24, uh, quarter inch 20, goes all the way up to 3, 8, 16 um, set screws. So I'm going to go that route with this. This seems to uh, look like it's going to work pretty well. Um, you can, I, I guess, whatever side to side play you do have, you can kind of center the barrel inside. The opening of the breech uh, by adjusting or, uh, the pressure on and letting off on the pressure on the set screws till it's centered. So got that. I'm going to utilize some tape here. And one quick thing I was going to go over in this video. Oh, so, um, speaking of barrels, the most easiest way to increase power on a gun without doing anything to it is to put a longer barrel on it. Now, like I said, the stock barrel, I believe I mentioned in an earlier video, the stock barrel on the 1322 is 10.6 inches long. And uh, the one I have on, on my uh, Crossman 2289 pumper uh, comes stock with a 14.6 inch barrel. Now, you're going to get about roughly 15 extra feet per second for every extra inch you have on a 22 caliber barrel air gun. So, you know, four, uh, four extra inches is going to come out to a, an increase just by putting on a, a longer 14.6 inch barrel in replacement of this one you're going to get over an increase of 60 feet per second on your velocity just from a longer barrel. Now, one of the things that's going to be needed if you switch out to a longer barrel is a new barrel band. Um, I'm going to post a picture if this is something you're thinking about and want to do to your 1322 or 1377. Um, Crossman, from their custom shop, when they build their uh, guns with the longer barrels on them. They use a much better, much thicker uh, reinforced barrel band. Now it's still polymer, it's not steel, but it is it's more than adequate. It's what I ended up putting on my 2289 pumper. In this case, uh, I did not want to go cost-wise. I didn't want to spend the money for a longer barrel and uh, a new barrel band. The two things put together were just going to add too much cost. And I'm trying to keep this close to stock. So, perfectly fine barrel barrel and uh, but quick easy way to increase velocity on your gun is simply to put a longer barrel on there the longer the barrel the higher the velocity it's going to be that's why people go out to 22 inch length barrels on their 
you know, uh, 1322s, 1377s. So just wanted to address that. If there's something you're not really thinking about tearing down your gun, doing all these modifications, but you want to crease in velocity, go to a longer barrel over your stock barrel. So with that said, thanks for checking out the video. Stay safe, shoot safe. Take care, have a great Thanksgiving everybody.